Linda, are you coming to join us for the unboxing? Yeah, she likes them. All right. All of the Z125 and Riley's Grom stuff is here. So we are going to go ahead and get all this stuff unboxed. And we're going to get it all thrown on the bikes. And then hopefully get out. Um, Ralph is going to come over soon. Oh, hey, Ralph's going to come over soon. Oh, sure. And uh, he's going to help us do some of this stuff, especially with bleeding brakes. I, I'm not bad at it. I just don't like doing it. I just did it the other day. Um, but wiring is going to be the big thing for the brake that I need help with. So... Uh, just gonna get all this stuff taken out, take a look at it, inspect it, make sure it's what we want, and we'll move out to the bikes and start getting it put on. So, let's open up some boxes, grab some scissors. Do I feel like one of the emails actually said that I get a thousand orders? Or a thousand like that. And I was like, thousands of orders? Cat. This dude is either making all of the money, or he yeah, he's straight cat. I don't know. Think. Yeah. More boxes. Definitely. What uh, is this? You gotta open more shit, dog. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So. <laughs> since this is easy to get to. Z&Z, I'm doing a review on your stuff, so. Sponsor me. Got more bikes that need stuff. All right, we're going to do Riley's Grom first. We brought it inside. It makes it way easier. Um, we're going to do Riley's bike first. and I'm, We're going to kind of try and walk you through it. I have to teach Riley how to do this anyway, so I uh, figured why not make a video on it. So first thing we're going to focus on is going to be, actually, maybe we'll do the rear set so we're not hitting our head on your 12 bar. Yeah, let's do rear sets. Rear sets are pretty easy. Um, so... Start on the side that we have a little bit more room. So this is gonna be your brake uh, side. It has this big dowel on it, so your brake lever can spit on that. Um, and we'll start by taking off just the rear set. So I think it's, there's some bolts that go all the way through that will also hold your engine. There's a couple other mounts, so you don't have to worry about taking them out. But this main one will go all the way through your engine. I think this one might all go all the way to the other side as well. This one just holds the exhaust on. So it should be pretty easy. Some 14s, 19s, and a 17. Oh, and it says install shifter side first, which makes sense. Okay, so as I am unbolting the main shaft that goes between both rear sets and through the swing arm, um, I want to reiterate that the instructions do say start on the clutch side. Um, this is for a very good reason because um, when I ended up taking off the brake side first, I actually had to leave the, uh, that whole shaft out in order to take off the shifter side later, which means I also had to leave the rear sets on the brake side and the swing arm disconnected for the whole time. So as I'm finding my tools and everything, I want to make sure that you guys, if you are following along with this, you start by, uh, starting on the clutch side. Um, and taking that shaft out on that side so that when you put the new ZMZ rear set on, you can put the swing arm and everything on right away and then just put the brake sign on over the top of it. But make sure you start on the shifter side. It's going to make things go so much smoother. I am going to keep my video in the same timeline just so that uh, all everything goes together and makes sense the way that I did it so you guys can see it as well. <coughs> ah. Thanks. Set myself up for failure and put the spring on too early. Yeah, I don't remember why you have to do that, but you do have to flip your brake master around. No way! What did you do? It worked. Flip brake master. Did that? Oh, that's what you did. Okay. Yep. Uh, lane bike over if possible Wait, to relieve right. pressure off swing arm. Install shifter side first and then brake side. Continue with laying bike on its side as well. Um, does it say anything about the brake sensor? Oh, that's it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> that's what we got. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, that is not helpful. Spacers. Oh, spacer order. Brake middle is black. So this will go to that hole. Brake lower is white, so I was right. Okay, so we have this side pretty much put together. Um, I think this brake sensor is just held in by the small spring. 
um, on the brake. So that's actually what going to be the sensor that tells your light to uh, brighten when you hit your brake lever. Um, then you got the big spring that goes up to the screw. Reverse your brake master so the holes are actually going to be towards the front of the bike. And then you've got all these little spacers. Um, it'll be the smallest one, or the, yeah, the, the thinnest one. Um, that's actually going to go in the bottom hole down here along with your Allen head. Oh, where'd you go? with your Allen head bolt to hold the bottom of that on. Um, we should have started on the other side just because of the way this this uh, big bolt that goes all the way through the swing arm and everything holds these on. But we're already here, so we're just gonna roll with it. Yeah, you wanna hold that? I'm gonna make sure that these bolts are the same size. They are. So then bolt on the outside, spacer on the inside. I'm just gonna use this to kind of hold this side up. We have to take this little cover off. So I supposed to buy an aftermarket exhaust? You shouldn't have to. That's, <laughs> that'd be insane. Well, isn't there a bolt on the back of the exhaust that is supposed to attach back to this thing? No, they for some reason took that piece out. So is this the exhaust still structurally sound? Yeah. Okay, that is going to be a very interesting <clears throat> problem to deal with. I might just try to take off this guard, which isn't necessarily the problem, but it could maybe help us out a little bit. I'm gonna switch to the other side and see how much worse we can make the other side. Or do you want to take that little one out first below it? It doesn't, yeah, it probably should. Yeah, you might wanna like stand <laughs> on that side just in case we have to catch it for some reason. <laughs> what, what's happening? Uh, I think it's falling apart. <laughs> That might work. That might work. Okay. That should work. Oh yeah, it was. How how are we doing? Mm. Good. Good. Kind of. It's not like very balanced. <laughs> should be good enough. Is it cold? Okay. Yeah. It's just a bit. Yep. What are you guys fucking doing? trying to put get that bike outside dude no it's hot outside oh you got that rear peg too yeah made it a lot harder <laughs> sheesh <laughs> sweet the washers go on the outside or the inside um inside do they yeah dang three washers then shift okay damn bro what are you eating it's okay dog want that piece no i'm good you push that thing it's close. It's gotta be close. Hold on, I'm coming. There it is. Alright, I'm gonna look the other side. You lined up? It should be. There it goes. Okay, I'm gonna go about you. Damn. So, does he have to have an aftermarket exhaust for these? No. Okay, I, I, I have my. So. I have look how far the bolt is. Well, let me just put in from where the hole goes. We, we have the bike on a piece of wood and a jack stand. <laughs> In the back here, it hits the... Oh, hits the exhaust. Let's go! Okay. Riley got a new exhaust. It's kind of ugly. <laughs> no. Let's go look at my bike. Okay. So after uh, throwing in some spacers, we're good on this side. Um, bullet looks like it's mostly all the way through. Our biggest problem that we're running into is getting this back piece still, and that is not gonna move like I thought it might. Did it? it? No. <laughs> Dang, dude. Me and, me and Rob are just looking at Custom it. Custom exhaust. He's snapping it right off that weld. <laughs> it's gonna sound me. <laughs> you think you can get us some more? <laughs> What, what are you just saying? It doesn't work right now. It looks like it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Mm -hmm. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, Nothing. Why did you get a wheelie, buddy? We had to kind of make the exhaust work. Don't bent it down a little bit. And then uh, the bracket in there is right on there. But that's all right. 
just kind of walked it in. This isn't quite as far in as I'd like it to be, but that's all we're gonna get out of it. Everything else seems to be fitting like perfectly in here. So, uh, yeah. These look good. Gotta get some pucks on the outside. Dude, it's murdered out now. Bro, besides the blue. Look how, look how good that match is. Yeah. It doesn't stick out at all. No. Nah. Yeah. So, that should all be for the 12 bar. Help, Set screws really for the you know? Nobody, uh, no, pucks. I know. I'm sorry, I can help you something right now. Can you put this on? I think, are we done with these? I don't know how to do are these all, are these like on? Oh, we should tighten the, tighten the other in. side. No, we'll do it another day. Okay. Oh, gotta do the shifter. Last thing we gotta do is just throw the screw back. Put the shifter on, put it in place, wherever it's supposed to go. We'll figure it out. Okay, I forgot to like bring you guys back in when we were done eating. But like I said, we finished up the rear sets. Moving on to the, the uh, 12 bar. Um, on the SFs, you have to actually cut off this piece here which actually houses the tip sensor. So what we have to do today is uh, take that tip sensor out and uh, we're trying to figure out how to get this to cut it out. So tip sensor down in there, that piece. Gotta pull it out so we can cut that piece off so it's flat. So this part of the 12 bar will actually sit up against the subframe. Oh, you know what you should get? You should get one of those uh, table belt sanders so we can just take you like this on there. And it's on a bike. Dude, I got a boo-boo. Yeah, oh, no. It's bleeding. Boo -boo. Yeah. But you gotta get that checked out. You gotta make this all flat through there so that you don't have to... Yeah, so that's... Go bars set up there. So, time to move it out to the front porch. Get that done real quick. Then we'll bring it back in. Bring you guys back up to speed. All right, got this flattened out more. Doesn't look very good, but this will cover it up. So we're gonna start getting the uh, 12 bar put on in the back. Ralph is actually working on putting the axle sliders on in the front. Got to get the front axle pulled out. And then uh, those will go on each end. But Riley and I are going to go ahead and start getting on the rear 12 bar. There's not a hole in the grip tape for any of them. How am I supposed to do it? You have to punch a hole with the Allen key. We have actually finished the ground. It looks pretty good. I like that. Uh, yeah. Why do you agree with that? <laughs> Look at that, dude. Looks fire. One's getting thick. But this is done. If you guys want to see another video, we will be doing the same thing on this 12 bar rear sets, but also doing a handbrake. So watch out for that video. It'll be coming soon. And then uh, learning hand stunts. But Riley's going to be learning wheelies. Look out for these videos.